I literally hate when you sit down to film a video and everything next to you just falls and crumbles. Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be filming a Poshmark selling your clothes, all that kind of stuff, tips and tricks video. Selling your clothes online is a great way to make extra cash. I have had my Poshmark account for three years and I think I'm up to like $7,800. So personally for me, I have always used Poshmark. I think Poshmark is one of the best forms of selling your clothes out there because I really like the methods that they use, the way that you sell it. They state up front that they take 20%. You don't have to pay for shipping. They track orders. It's just everything about it is super secure. I've never had any issues with it. And I personally like it the best. I have also used Depop and that is not my favorite form of selling your clothes. I have found that I've had so many issues. Okay, so first let's actually talk about Poshmark and then I will give you my tips, tricks, how I sell, how I package things up, all that good stuff. You can see here on the side I have a couple supplies ready to talk about. So when you first log on to Poshmark, you just see your regular feed. So this is what my feed looks like. And yeah, you can also shop. This is one of my favorite Poshmark users and I tend to share a lot of her stuff. So you just share a listing and it goes right onto your page. You can just shop here on Poshmark. So here's me just scrolling through, you know, whatever. Um, so they have a ton of great brands on here. These are the brands I usually tend to look at and follow. Triangle, Lazy Oak, Brandy, Kylie Cosmetics, Frankie's Bikinis. I don't actually buy that much on Poshmark, ironically. Um, but like I said, I usually use it to sell. Then we have news, which is basically your notifications when someone wants to buy an item, bid on an item, all that kind of good stuff. So basically you can see what my feed looks like, people sharing my item, people liking it. So this is basically your kind of like inner account. So you can actually see your closet. So this is what my closet looks like. So if you want to follow me, go for it. And these are all of the things that I have listed for sale. A great new thing that Poshmark has added is that, for example, if this opening ceremony bag, I have it listed for 300, but you know, I might click p price drop and I can offer to likers in a private way. So that means that whoever has liked my post, I'm going to offer them, let's say 250 with discounted shipping. Now as you can see, it shows your net earnings. So it shows how much will be taken out from Poshmark's 20% and then the shipping, you know, will be taken out of that. So I might say, you know what, I want to definitely get 200 for it, so I'm going to offer 255 to get me up to 202. I hit submit and now it's creating the offer which will now be sent to everybody who likes it. And that's something that I love about Poshmark is that when you sell an item, it automatically tells you how much you are going to get with their 20%. So yeah, these are all of my listings. And then when you scroll way to the bottom, you can see everything that I have sold. So I have sold over like 300 items and I'm not gonna scroll all the way through, but you can see that I have a range of prices. So I'm definitely someone that I think less is more. If I sell 30 things for $10, that's like $300. As opposed to selling 10 things for $20, like most people would rather pay 10 bucks for a shirt. And if I can get so many sales like that, it's eventually gonna add up. Even if something is brand new with tags, you gotta know that they could just go in the store themselves and buy it and you wanna make a sale. So as you can see back on the like private screen page, so it just shows you all the different kind of things. You can see your likes. So these are all the items I have liked. Then, you know, your size, you can configure your size so that way when you're shopping in other people's closets or anything like that, it's definitely a great way to filter that out. Then it shows you your purchases. So this is my purchase history. Like I said, I haven't bought too many things. A couple triangles, a unif top. So credit is the money amount that you have when you refer someone. So I actually had, I think like $30 total and I spent it like two years ago when I like had all my friends like get Poshmark. Um, maybe I'll issue a credit for you guys so that you can get $5 off and I can get $5 off. I think that would be dope. So I'll put something right here that you can use to get $5 off your purchase. So $5 off, that's amazing, goes a long way. So anyways, going back, pending. That is the money that I have waiting to go through. So I have sold that are in transit when they get to the customer or they've already gotten there, they're waiting to open their package because what Poshmark has is that when you receive an item, you have until three days to fully accept it and write a review or the money's gonna go right into the person's account. And then I have over $1,000 in redeemable. So when I click redeemable, It'll show me I can have a bank direct deposit 
or a check request. Then you can go to my Posh stats. So this is private and confidential. It shows you when you became a Poshmarker, everything that you have, how many listings you totally have on there, your followers, and then your status to become a Posh ambassador. So it gives you a list of things that you need to achieve in order to be a Posh ambassador. And that's somebody who gets promoted, they are introduced to new Poshmark, people who join the website so it's a great way to get more followers then it shows your sales analysis so i have sold 381 items for 76.42 takes me about two days to ship and i have an average rating of 4.8 which is really great okay so that is basically my poshmark that's what poshmark looks like that's how it works all that stuff now i'm going to get into the tips and tricks oh my gosh my battery is flashing okay so my first tip and trick for Poshmark would be the way that you take your photos. I cannot tell you how many people I am so disinterested in looking at, don't think their clothes look nice or whatever, just simply because of the way that they take their photo. If you take your photo with a wood floor background and the lighting is really bad, no one's gonna see what it is, no one's gonna like the quality, none of that stuff. So you can see that is how I hang my clothes and I take different shots so that people can see all the pieces. So that has like a super small stain, but you know, I still put it there so that when the customer gets it, they know. It's always great to include like a try on version. So maybe you haven't worn the piece of clothing, but you can go on the website, Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville, Unif, Birds Girl, whatever website, whatever kind of clothes you're selling and find a try on. And most of the time, if you have a piece of clothing, you have a picture somewhere of you wearing it. Like for example, if I were to sell this shirt, I know I took photos of this when I was in LA, so I'll include that so that the people know how they style it on you. My second tip and trick is to be in the posh parties. Now, every single night, Monday through Sunday, from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so like New York, Florida, Pennsylvania, like that little strip going down the United States, they have parties. So it can be cool crash party, end of winter party, whatever they want to name their party and you basically self-share. Now that's sort of getting into what self-shares are. So my camera did unfortunately die, so I hope the lighting and the setup didn't change too much. Um, it did start to snow out, so it's a little gloomier outside. So the Posh parties are the biggest way to stay active on Poshmark, to get a lot of sales. I noticed that when I go through phases where I don't really engage much in the parties, maybe like once or twice a week, I'm not getting many sales. And then when I start doing it every night or at least like five, six times, a week I'm making a ton of sales they also have parties throughout the day so I believe it is at noon or 3 p.m. or both for different reasons so like yesterday they had a best in tops party at around 3 p.m. so you can be in a party throughout the day as well so just as long as you stay on Poshmark you stay active you get the notifications you will know what's going on so my third tip would have to be to be kind to your followers, to your buyers, and everybody. I think having great customer service goes a long way. When you're kind to people and you offer pieces at a discounted price or you offer to have same day shipping or anything like that, I think people are more inclined to buy whenever I have a customer who likes maybe four items. I'll say, hey, you know, they would be total valued of $90, but I'll sell it two for 65. And I think they're really appreciative of that. Or when a customer purchases something and they say, hey, I need it by Friday and it's Tuesday, can you get it shipped? I will make sure that if it's, you know, before the post office is closed, not too late at night, I will ship it that day or the next morning. So my fourth tip and trick is to have a good shipping procedure, I guess you would say. So for me, I'm going to be showing you what I use to package my items to make it cute and personal. For me, I use just these plain yellow envelopes to ship my products. I find that for me, these are the best way to ship items because most of my items are tops. They're thin pieces. If I do have something like a pair of jeans or a jacket, hoodie, or even if someone buys like six things, which I have had before, I will use the USPS Priority Mail box. Usually when I mail something at the post office, I bring like five home with me and I kind of hoard them so that I can just go in, drop them off, whatever. But I actually used my last one the other day. 
So yeah, I just used these envelopes and they have pretty good thickness. I make sure to tape them up super well. So another thing I do when I am packaging up my item is I include a little note and maybe some stickers. So I just buy a load crap of boxed cards because you can get a bunch for a good price. So I actually just get them at my job. So I have this one, which I think is really cute. It just says thank you from the bottom of my heart and I love the prints. I have this simple one with three cacti that say thank you. I just have this plain watermelon one. And then I have these two. So I have this one, which is Paris themed. And then I have this really cute Kate Spade one. I love the heart. So yeah, I have a bunch of these. And then I will usually include some Brandy Melville stickers, just any stickers wherever I get them. Usually if people spend like $15 or less, I won't include stickers just because I feel like the more you spend, the more you get for my services. But I have gotten a lot of good feedback like, oh my gosh, thank you for the stickers, or I love the little note. And usually in my note, I'll include something like, thank you so much for purchasing. I really hope you enjoy the cardigan as much as I did. Please check my blog out, my Instagram, and I leave some contact info. And then depending on the purchase, I will include a little discount code for next time that they come. Something like that really makes you stand out and makes people wanna come back. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you find it helpful because Poshmark has honestly changed my life. It's given me more, it's given me extra money for clothing, for saving. I just put like $2,000 that I got about six months ago away into my savings account, which is amazing. I was able to take $800 that I make from Poshmark and go to Italy with my best friend. Right now I have $1,000 that I'm gonna put into my savings account for when I move. It's changed my life in so many different ways. It's given me so much extra money and it's so much better than just throwing clothes out because I really feel guilty when I throw clothes out and sometimes you buy a piece that you love and you only wear it twice so why not you know send it off to somebody else so i will leave a lot of information that i talked about in the comments below in case this is a little jumbled or anything i will leave my poshmark below if any of you guys want to follow me i hope that you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys in another video very soon bye